Congratulations, Chris. My name is Josephine from Zopon Saldane. Uh, my first question would be, um, what are the details of the film that you find so, that I'm so excited about when you, when you were told you're going to do this? You, kasi napansin ko ang ganda-ganda ng production design, the details of the dresses, those things. So, was there any, was there any chance that you also suggested, contributed to the, to the, ano, yung design ng lahat? Yes. Mommy Jo. Oh, naki Mommy Jo na ako. Hindi, kasi nakialam talaga ako because I had a specific vision. Because parang direct Chita said na yung, yung character mo as Georgia, ito siya. She follows the rules. She looks a certain way. She wears her hair a certain way. She carries herself a certain way. So, kami ni direct Chita, we've been successful na all our movies, we've worked with a color palette. It's from the first feng shui na nag green, tapos doon sa, when we did sukob naman, because it was earth tones, grays, and whites. And then when we did the second feng shui, green ulit, binalik, tapos for the entire, siguro, uh, half of the movie ko, I had one costume, it was this parang lime green top. And then for this entire movie naman, it's white. Because I'm a chef. So, pinanindigan ko kasi she knew she was not pure, but she wanted the world to believe she was pure. So, pinanindigan yung color white. And yun, um, Roxy of Star Cinema requested, sabi niya, madalas na pinupulaan daw ang mga movies kasi you're presenting a rich lifestyle when alam ng lahat na yung alahas hindi tunay. Yung sinusuot ng mga bag at mga shoes, hindi rin, you know, ano. And sabi niya, please, ilabas naman sa baol. <laughs> so, nilabas lahat. Yun yung ano. So, yung ano, in-effort talaga. In-effort yung look because direct Chito's vision was that this should be opulent because who could afford this lifestyle? Um, in, who could afford to have a mistress or several mistresses Obviously, it's someone talaga na may kaya, may kapangyarihan, may pwesto. Uh, the location shoot naman po yung places, did you also have a hand? Had I had a hand in it, we would not have shot that far. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ano talaga, um, dinirepsya yun eh, ito straight na, we, we toured, sabi ko, this is a tour of central Luzon. Meron, there was a very big mansion that was all the way in San Fernando. And then, in, in movie making, they have this term, it's called virgin locations. I'm sure you're familiar with that. So, in a tent nila talaga, na halos lahat ng mga location virgin. So, yun, that mansion, first time, it, it paid off kasi um, the guy who owned it said, umayag lang ako kasi ang mom ko, super favorite ka. Kasi he was, he's relatively, uh, I think early 30s lang siya. So, sila, thank you to mommy. Tapos, after nag ano ka, then we went to Zambales in Zambawood. Although I think there's an indie film that has already shot there. I don't think it has been shown yet in wide release. And then, pagkatapos nyan, uh, we were in the, the jet that you see in the trailer, totoong jet yan, in the middle of the bagyo. Um, yung habagat na super tindi ng one weekend. Ayos mo kung direksyito, nililipad na lahat ng yero, ayaw niya kaming pauwiin ni Kim Chu. So tinuling namin yun. And that was a real jet that really flies because I think they fly in... Ay, baka hindi ko dapat sabihin. Pero anyway, yung mga nag-gamble sa sobe. Yun ata yung ano doon, yun yung purpose ng plane na yun. Tapos, after that, yung ano, we, we shot also in car. Um, there was a hospital kasi parang ayaw, ayaw nila na yung Lahat ng hospital daw kasi na eksena, alam yun eh, kung saan. So, it just so happened that may isang ex... May, nadala ko doon si Bim because he had an accident sometime before, during the summer, and that was the closest. And then, yun, yung walang katao-tao first time din, nandun kami nakashoot. So...